This episode of Stuck in Vermont is made possible by Hotel Vermont and Vermont Tourism. Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days. My name is Eva Solberger. We are here in Duxbury at Crossett Brook Middle School for the 8th Annual Leap Energy Fair. on earth so I don't like living in a bad environment. There's a lot of like pollution and all this stuff. It's our environment and we have to make it good for our children and our grandchildren. I want it to be a nice future not destroyed. These kids rock. They're amazing. Look what they've done today. And it makes sense that this fair is being held at Crossett Brook. It has the largest solar capacity of any school in the state. And for the past year, they have a new sustainability program. I'm taking a part of cell phone right now. Behind me is the e-waste drive. We are collecting e-waste so we can recycle it properly. I'm here today because I love this uh, project here. I think the folks in Waterbury do an extraordinary job. It's something we should be doing all over the state, all over the country. What they're doing is focusing on sustainability, on energy efficiency, on sustainable energy. And what they do in an extraordinary way is they start with the kids. If you really put your mind to it, you can do anything. Kids who are getting uh, educated about sustainability in the school, they go all the way up to the vendors, all the way up to everybody else, and they're involving the whole community. And we have in the gym 72 exhibitors on renewable energy, energy efficiency, transportation, geothermal, biofuel, solar. Here you can actually see the different companies that are working for a greener, more greener Vermont. The leadership on uh, dealing with climate change and taking advantage of the enormous economic opportunities of creating jobs, you know, as well as a cleaner environment, it's at the local level. And uh, this is a ground zero. What we're trying to do is really bring together all the people who want to move forward, but aren't sure how to do it with all the experts and the materials and, and the information that they need to make it happen. You see people with pellet stoves, you pe see people with power cells, and then you see the solar arrays. And it's just really neat to see all the different ways people are trying to protect yeah. our Earth. Vermont event, which is a community sustainability game of epic proportions. And so what we have created is a game that people can play on their community level or with their school that allows them to take all kinds of action. So every year we bring them all together and mix them up, stir them around, and people leave saying, now I know what to do. Folks in Waterbury have a tremendous a local energy committee. Waterbury Leap is an all-volunteer nonprofit. As we've set a very aggressive goal. We're trying to turn our town into the greenest town in Vermont by 2020. But I hope that they have tough competition with the other towns around the state. <laughs> it's totally possible. I've heard of a couple people in our school already participating in it. The people in our neighborhood, they're getting solar panels. We have solar panels. So now we've quadrupled local solar capacity in two years. And just here in, in Waterbury, we have over 60 solar jobs. And the state of Vermont has the most solar jobs of any state in the country. So this is like the epicenter of solar. The solar actually started with Bernie Sanders and the grant he was putting out for schools. We help them get solar panels on the roof. We help them in the process of getting solar on their field. So now they have 172 kilowatts. And our school has a curriculum based around conserving energy called sustainability that we all participate in. This program is awesome. As a sustainability teacher, this is a perfect time and opportunity to tie in the stuff that I'm teaching in class to my students to like real world applications. The worm bin is so that the worms can be covered up with all the newspapers and in the dark. We use the red wigglers because they make it a lot faster and better. Burmy is the Latin word for worm and then compost is a nutrient rich material made from like decomposed plants. So you kind of learn about the impact of humans in our environment. When I was in that class I just felt so angry at human beings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because we get so angry we'd like to take a stand. Today we gave an award, the annual LEAP a Green Community Award to a group of students. It means that we're doing a good job helping the environment being sustainable. Knowledge is power, so knowing about it is the whole point. We need to know how to fix it and what's going wrong to be able to fix it. What's not to like about going solar? You get to use uh, the sun to generate your own power and to save money. You can find like energy efficient everything nowadays, so like it's just really important to like buy that stuff. So if you like recycle and compost and all this, then we can reuse. Climate change is coming. And if we want it to slow down a little bit, we need to do something. We need to do it right now. This can't be something that is 
like, oh, wow, sustainability, that, that has to just be a no-brainer. You know, solar panels at a school shouldn't be a crazy thing. We're at a point where it's just really important to live um, green and, you know, to protect our resources. Educate and inspire and mobilize more people to get involved in the solutions because we are going to need all hands on deck. Vermont is doing extremely well. It's one of the top states in the whole country in solar per capita, number one in solar jobs per capita. Well, Vermont is, is you know, tends, tends to be a leader. We've got independent, smart people that aren't afraid of a challenge. This is a room full of people saying, here are dozens of opportunities for you to make a difference. We'd like yeah. to still have a nice planet when we grow older. So um, teaching younger kids about how to preserve energy and how to just create a better environment is, is great for the future. Well, Vermont, we're a green state, let's keep it that way. We'll get stuck around you again real soon. Are we going home to take a nap? Oh, that sounds Because awesome. taking a nap saves energy too, and then you, can, then you can have energy for later when you have to get up and play some more. Human energy. Yeah. yeah it's important. I love it that we're, we're doing an interview on the floor. It's way cooler than standing. <laughs> Who's that? Who are those people? Who's you that? Them? Hotel Vermont is personal, purposeful and natural. Rustic and modern. Unique, independent, and unlike anything else. It's fun, it's exciting. Hip and relaxed. It's Vermont, it's Burlington. Come down for a beer, come stay overnight. We'd love to see you.